So today is an exciting day. I've got a load of cases and accessories to be unboxing for my iPhone 15 Pro Max. I've got some cases here. I've also got a wireless MagSafe charger and I've also got a MagSafe wallet to be unboxing and checking out with the phone. So I'm just gonna be trying on all of the cases on the phone, seeing how they look, seeing how they feel and what protection they give for the phone as well. So let's get to it. Okay, so I've got a few cases here that I've had given to me by Caseology and I've also got a couple from CaseCo as well that I've had a couple from them in the past and then I've got a couple of cases by Jetec, Jet, Gtech, Jetec, however you say the name I did buy these myself and then I've got a tempered glass screen protector unfortunately I've already got a tempered glass screen protector on the phone so I probably don't need to be using that. And then of course I've got the MagSafe Nano Pop wallet. And I've also got the MagSafe Nano Pop wireless charger as well. So to begin with, I will start with a couple of the Jetec cases. This is a matte case for the phone. which I think a lot of manufacturers do make cases very similar to this one. It's just a bog standard clear matte finish with a sort of rubbery plastic type material around the side. So it's a pretty basic case for the phone. I will turn off the phone for the minute. So you get pretty good raised edges around the camera buttons are nice and clicky all round and then you get ever so slightly raised edges around the screen which is good as well if i move on to the other case this one i have actually had out of the box already and i've used it for a little while this is sort of another matte feel case. It's a bit more chunky than that other one. And it's got a few sort of design tweaks as well. And this fits nice and snug. And this one doesn't seem to have the raised edges like the other one does. So you probably will want to put some camera protectors on your lenses as well for that one. You do get some nice raised edges around the front for your screen. And then you've got clicky buttons on the side. There isn't a cover over the action button. So you will actually have to try and dig your finger in there to get that. And then nice clicky button on the power button. I've just bloody turned the phone back on again, my own fault. So that's the two Jetec, GTEC, however you want to say it, cases. The iPhone 15 Pro Max, pretty good. And I think they both cost me about I think they cost about a tenner each, if that. I think one of them was cheaper than the other one. I can't remember which way. So if I then move on to the CaseCo Magic Stand cases. Now I have had a couple of cases from CaseCo before when I was unboxing them for my iPhone 14 Plus. And you do get some nice stickers, etc., in the box as well. If you want to stick them all over your phone. And then this one is a sort of, is again a clear rubbery feel case. Now I do like using clear cases because it shows off the nice natural titanium of the iPhone 15 Pro Max. But unfortunately it does gather fingerprints pretty quickly whenever I use a clear case. But you do have the mag stand on the side of the phone to turn it on its side when you're watching media and then you have got some raised edges again around the camera housing and then some nice clicky buttons again and then raised edges around that screen so that's oh god can't get that one off there we go so that's that one got a lot to clear up when i finished the second case coup magic stand again you get the same gubbins in the box 
few stickers. Now this one is very, very similar in design to that first one that I did. Got the branding of each case on the side, identical power button position, and also with the buttons, volume button and the action button, and then you've got the holes for attaching a lanyard if you want to. Very similar material, but of course on the case coup again, you get that MagSafe stand bit so you can stand it on its side again. Now these are really strong hinges on this Magic Stand case. They use loads of different parts in this hinge to make it nice and sturdy, and it can withstand something ridiculous like 300,000 opening and closing. It's something like that. So it's really, really good. And again, raised edges around that camera housing. And then raised edges ever so slightly around the edge of the screen, more so in the corners there, less so around the edge here. But a really nice case. Doesn't add too much bulk to the phone like what I found with this one. It does add a fair bit of bulk to it, but yeah, this one is decent and it's good quality, high quality materials. So that's the Jetec and Case Coup cases. If I move on to these Caseology ones, now I've never used Caseology cases for an iPhone. I have got one, my Pixel 6 Pro. I have done a video for this, so check that out if you're interested. And it's a really great case. And I actually do have one on the Galaxy S22 Ultra, which is what I'm shooting this video on as well. And I've got a video coming up for that. So subscribe if you're interested in seeing that one. Now, this first one is called Capella Mag, sorry, Capella Mag Kickstand. So again, it's another clear case, which unfortunately will gather fingerprint smudges, which they just always do. You get a nice cleaning cloth in there. This one's got some nice textured bits to the side to make it a little bit more grippy, which is nice. And then the kickstand on the back, which I'm probably going to fail at attempting to get it out. Ah, that'll be why. So you've got to take that off first. Now that's a nice addition for this case, just a little bit of extra protection in transit. So that's something that I wasn't aware. You learn something new every day. Ah, there we go, I was trying to do it the wrong way around. Duh. So we'll chuck the case in. Fits nicely. Nice stand on the back, high quality metal with Caseology's logo on the back there. And then not so much raised edges around the camera housing, there is a little bit. And then you get the usual raised edges around the screen, not too much, but enough to protect it if you line it face down. This next one, Nano Pop Mag. Interesting. I've made a hell of a lot of mess on my desk. So again, you get some cleaning wipes and a cloth to clean your screen off for application. That's actually quite a nice sort of plasticky silicone feel, but it's not the sort of material that's gonna attract dust and lint all the time like some of these cheaper silicone cases and it's got that same textured bit just on the lower part of the case for extra grip, which is great. So you pop that one in. That one actually looks really nice. I do like the yellow accent around the camera housing. Again, not too much raisivity around the camera lenses and not a huge amount around the screen, but it should be enough to protect your screen when you line it face down. And then nice clicky buttons all around. So yeah, all your ports are as they should be. And then again, you've got the holes there for attaching a lanyard if you want to. That's quite a nice one actually. I might use that one for a while. I'm a bit weird. I tend to use 
I used, sorry, I tend to flip between using various cases quite a lot. So I always have multiple cases for my phones because I like switching them out. This one is called Athlex. And I would imagine the unboxing experience is going to be very similar. Yeah, cleaning cloths there. Cleaning wipes, sorry. And then the buffering cloth in there. This one's actually got an interesting feel. It's like a rough feel to the back. Sort of a aligned design there. Sort of indented line all around the outside. It's a bit different. And then a nice yellow bit in the middle where the wireless charging part of your phone would be. This one doesn't have any holes for attaching a lanyard, but it should, and it does fit nicely. Again, with the raised edges around the camera housing is the same. Buttons are very clicky. In terms of how this one feels in the hand, I'm not as much of a fan of this one as I am some of the other ones. Maybe it's just the rough bit on the back and then this sort of indented line that goes all around the edge. I'm not the biggest fan of it. But as in terms of how it looks aesthetically, it still looks pretty good. I think I'm going to have to start putting them over there. I've cleared up a bit of mess because it was getting a bit much. So the second to last case is called Parallax Mag. Now from the looks of it on the box, it looks like it might be similar in feel to that other one. Same bits in the box. Okay, so it's a bit rough on these top two bits. Actually, this is the exact case that I've got on the Galaxy S22 Ultra that I'm filming this video on, just in a different color. So yeah, I'm a fan of this one. This one's pretty good. Clicky button again, all around. Hisology printed down there. Ever so slightly raised around the camera housing and on the screen as well. So yeah, I like that one. That one's good. That's the one I'm using now. And last in the cases is another Nano Pop mag, which is the same as this blue one here, but just in a different color. Same bits and bobs. Yeah, I like that. That's quite nice, actually. So we'll pop that on. That might be my new favorite. Nice grippy bits on the side again. Clicky buttons, raised edges around the screen, and then slight raised edges around the camera housing. So yeah, really like that one. That might be the one to use, and I might actually keep that on the phone for the minute. Oh no, I can't. Ah, got to take it off to chest that one out. So we'll leave that one there. MagSafe Nano Pop card holder. I've never used a card MagSafe card holder on any iPhone that I've had. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, that's a sturdy magnet, nice premium materials, nice stitching around there. I do really like that. And it opens up so you can add more into there. Downside for me for this is I wouldn't use it as it is because I'd be petrified that my phone would get scuffed not being in a case. But you can attach it to the back of another case, which is pretty cool. But of course, the downside with that is it does add a bit of bulk to the overall feel of your phone, but yeah, not a bad way to keep your cards in one place. And then lastly, the MagSafe Nano Pop wireless charger. Okay, so it's a nice idea with this. 
but unfortunately I don't have a MagSafe charger to actually properly test this out. You would feed the wire through there, through the bottom of here, and it would sit like that with your wireless charging bit in there for your phone to sit on there. But because I haven't got one of those, unfortunately I cannot demonstrate that. So I do apologize for that. And then I'm not gonna apply these because I've already got one on my phone, but for the sake of this video, I will just take these screen protectors out of the packet, butchering the box at the same time by the looks of it. So screen protectors there, loads of precise tools to get it fit onto your phone. So that's a pretty good thing. I suppose you could probably use that for other screen protectors and just using this to get it where you want it to go. So that's my look at a few cases for the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Overall, I'm really impressed with the quality of all of these cases and they range from about £10 each off Amazon, some of the Caseology cases which can go up to 20 or 30 quid. But you are getting some really nice cases, some really premium materials and great protection for your phone. So if you'd like to see more videos like this, please do make a comment down below and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And here is the Caseology case for my S22 Ultra. Very similar to that black one that I unboxed and it's a really great case and I've had a really pleasant experience using it on this S22 Ultra. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.